So you've been working with 304 or 316 stainless steel, and you're now realizing you're not exactly sure how they're different. Could one be better than the other? Well, in this video, I'll tell you everything you need to know. So stick around. Hi, my name's Eric Himes, and stainless steel has dozens of variations that can sometimes make it hard for lab technicians and floor engineers to pinpoint the best solution. But of all the stainless steel classifications, type 304 and type 316 stand as the most popular. So what's the difference? Well, WS Tyler has worked with woven wire mesh of various alloys for over 150 years and is here to ensure you apply the right one for your operation. So in this video, we'll establish what stainless steel is, what low carbon alloy is, how 304 and 316 stainless steel mesh compare, and which alloy you should use. Stainless steel has become one of the most widely used materials throughout the entire world. There are centuries of research standing behind its manufacturing processes. Now, no matter which type of steel you're working with, it's most likely classified by the actual quality of the alloy. And stainless steel must consist of a certain level of carbon and chromium to be considered stainless steel. When an alloy contains less than 0.03% carbon, it gets to be classified as a low carbon steel or L grade. Since it has such a limited amount of carbon in the alloy, it reduces the amount of carbide precipitation, which heightens the alloy's resistance to corrosion. This is perfect for applications where the stainless steel is exposed to moisture. In other words, the more carbon that's present in the alloy, the more likely it's going to rust and corrode when water is present. The main difference between 304 and 316 stainless steel comes down to the corrosion resistance, durability, heat resistance, and formability. Now, 304 stainless steel mesh is an alloy that contains 18% chromium and 8% nickel. On the other hand, 316 stainless steel is an alloy that contains 16% chromium, 10% nickel, and 2% molybdenum. Because 316 has more nickel and contains molybdenum, it's a higher quality stainless steel than 304 is. These added benefits make it more resistant to corrosive environments, more stable and durable, and more resistant to extreme temperatures. But with that said, there's little to no difference between the two alloys visually. They also carry the same ability to be welded and customized during fabrication. When it comes to cost, 316 is the most expensive of the two, but these margins are not that significant. Like for example, if a piece of 304 costs a dollar per square foot, then 316 costs somewhere around a dollar 15 per square foot. And these remain the same regardless if you're using regular or L-grade stainless steel. It mainly depends on the application. If the mesh is going to be subjected to harsh conditions that introduce corrosive substances, 316 should be used. It's because the molybdenum that's added allows it to withstand more corrosive applications. With that, if you're simply using it for non-corrosive applications, such as sifting food particles or aggregates, then 304 will get the job done. As a final note, low carbon steel, whether it be 304 or 316, should be applied when welding. It's because carbon naturally absorbs heat and may hinder any sort of welding or heat treating process. So the higher the carbon content of the alloy, the harder it is to be fabricated. Thanks so much for watching. And if you have any questions, fill out the contact us form so we can answer your specific questions. Just click the link in the description. And if you'd like to learn more about woven wire mesh or our many products, we have a learning center filled with written and video content to make you an expert. Just click the second link and you'll be that expert in no time. And don't forget to click the subscribe button and ring that bell to keep up with all things WS Tyler. Once again, my name's Eric Himes and I'll be seeing you around in the next video. Bye for now.